tremendous performance by Nola. I mean, I know it, it sounds like a broken record every week. It seems like we're saying this, but the guy's special. I mean, he, he takes his specialness to another level every time he pitches. Uh, you know, I, I called him last night about 7.30, and I said, Aaron, where are you? He says, I'm out to dinner with the pitching staff. I won't tell you the establishment because it would be free publicity to them, okay? <laughs> okay? But I will tell you this. I said to him, I said, when, when are you going to be done? He said, about 8.30. I, I waited at my office for him to come back to the field at 8.30, and I wanted to look him in the eye, and I said, Aaron, I said, uh, I would never, ever, ever do anything to hurt you, okay? You tell me if you feel you're ready to pitch, and don't give me the answer that I'm looking for. You tell me the truth. If you're side work, and, you know, at one less day rest, you're not feel ready. He looked at me, and it was just like the most routine thing in the world, and just said, no, coach, I'm ready to go. Let's go. I want the ball tomorrow night. So it was no problem to switching him on the, the night's notice. What happened was after I talked to you guys yesterday, after, uh, during before practice, I went in, and there was a local weatherman who will rename, remain, uh, remain nameless, okay? But he sent me a text message, and he said, uh, you're, you know, you're going to be able to get tomorrow night in, but Saturday and Sunday would be questionable. So I just, boy, I started thinking about it and saying to myself, what if we only play one game, get beat, and never pitch an all So as long as he felt he, he was physically ready to do it, I thought it was the right thing to do, and he just went out there and just, it was unbelievable. I mean, you look up at the scoreboard at the end of the game, you see no runs, two hits, 10 strikeouts, and you say, ho, ho hum. But there's points in the game where he has to raise his game to another level, and it just changes the, the, the whole game. And that's what the great ones do, and that's why this kid is going to pitch for a long, long time in the major leagues. I need the name of the restaurant and the weatherman. No, I'm not giving it to you. I'm giving it to you. Uh, top of the order guys came along and nice too. Well, those back-to-back -back triples were a thing of beauty. You know, the, the, we got that north wind blowing today. I thought it'd be really hard to get extra base hits, but McMullen and Laird both got the bat head through and drilled one in the right field corner. That was a thing of beauty. And to hear the crowd erupt the way that it, they did, and Bregman battled, you know, they had the infield in, and we were able to squeeze one through there. That was great. You know, we gave away one opportunity to score when, when uh, Chris Amber struck out, but then we could, you know, McMullen later on came here with another big RBI. So, you know, these guys have an excellent pitching staff. You know, whether it's Ross Mitchell or these other guys, all you got to do is look at their stat sheet and look at the pitch speed, and you can see that, that they've got quality arms.